Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and we have a busy day planned today. We are in the car right now, it's about 7.50 and we're heading to the trim place to go pick out the exact trim we want to replace in our entire house. And this is the fun part. Josh and I love picking out finishes so we're gonna have a great time doing that. We have to get the trim ordered today so that it can be delivered on Wednesday. And we're gonna have a fun day today. We after this we're gonna head back and we're gonna go make some dinner in the crock pot but first let's go ahead and pick out our trim the place we're gonna get our trim from is called mccoy's i have absolutely no affiliation with them but we used them when we did the trim and wainscoting in our first home it is a family-owned business that has been in portland oregon for i think almost a hundred years and josh and i kind of nerd out when it comes to home finishes this is something that we just really, really enjoy. And something that Josh and I really like is anything with a straight corner. We're not big fans of round or super ornate or super fancy. And so we were quickly drawn to this H503 bead. This is what would go between the trim that goes around the door casings and the actual like header. We also thought we would just look at, see what the stock is. This is the trim that was on the floor of the house that we just remove the trim on and the flooring trim and the trim around the doors was very different and those were just a couple of the options they had that were stock but we really do like flat stock we like just super plain and nice and clean this is both finger jointed pine and mdf we are going to do a combination of mdf and finger jointed pine beautiful perfectly painless we figured out exactly what we wanted what time is it I have to wait for the Okay, so we weren't even in there for 20 minutes. They can have, today is Monday morning, by the way. They can have everything delivered by Wednesday. So that means we have today and tomorrow to rip out the rest of the trim. I hopefully wanna to try to get some carpet ripped out as well before it's delivered. And then we'll hopefully be ready to start installing and putting the house back together on Wednesday. And we also have talked about maybe redoing the kitchen before we move in, which is a big, big ask. And it might just be a complete pipe dream because having, finding what exactly what we need and everything is gonna be very difficult. So today we are also running to go get carpet samples for the area where we're replacing the carpet before we move in. And then we're gonna talk to some cabinet people, kitchen people, and just see what can happen probably a pipe dream which is totally fine but we're just gonna see because it would be the easiest time to do it before we move in while I have a functioning kitchen in my current house so we'll see we'll see how today goes we decided to stop at one of our favorite hardware stores where they sell like hardware and so since we're in Portland we were four minutes away from the store we're gonna come in here and see if they have the hardware we want instead of having to order it online we are at Winks Hardware, which opened in 1901 in Portland, Oregon, and it's been a privately owned company ever since. And I am like a kid in a candy store. I love looking at finishes, and it's been a really long time since I've had the opportunity to look at this kind of stuff. We have decided for the handles for the doors that we are gonna go with handles instead of knobs because handles are easier to open when you have things in your hand. So we were having fun just looking around what they had available and i learned so much about the different types of handles and the degrees and the standards and the customizations and all those things more than i ever thought i would have needed we are going to go ahead and end up ordering them just so we can get the color and everything we are going with black and that's going to be the same in the whole house this is i'm looking at knobs and handle poles for the kitchen there are about three different types of hardware in the kitchen so i do want to match that i didn't end up buying that today but i wanted to look to see what they had to see if i could match it we did end up buying all of the hinges for our house because we are replacing all the hinges to match the color of the door handles and we are going with black that is the color we are going to go with for the handles and the hinges and eventually all the faucets and everything as well but that will be down the road and here i just wanted to show how quintessential this hardware store you feel so good when you come in here the customer service is fantastic and now we are checking out and we will go back to the house and keep working that place is amazing extremely productive we got all the hinges and not well we have to order the knobs but definitely a great start to the day it is only 9 10 and that's one awesome thing about getting up early is gotta climb it my husband's car 
is you get to check a lot of things off the list before the day even really begins. Okay, we just got home and I put together some food that we're gonna bring up. I'm gonna start some taco soup. In our crock pot, we have some frozen peppers that I froze up last year from last year's garden. We have frozen corn from the last year's garden and I diced up one onion. We are starting to make a little bit of taco soup in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of red pepper flake, some seasoned salt, garlic from last year's garden, oregano from last year's garden, some homemade taco seasoning, parsley from last year's garden, and some cumin, and some coriander. This is as far as I wanna have the dinner going for tonight because I'm gonna drive this to the new house in my car and I don't have one of the locky lids, so I don't wanna put any of the liquid in here until we get up there. It's about 10.20, so I have some breakfast burritos. Josh and I have not eaten breakfast yet, but I made these in the last breakfast freezer meal prep so that we could have some easy breakfast. So we're about to microwave up these breakfast burritos for us, and then we're gonna be heading to the new house. I did put together some stuff that we're gonna bring up to the new house. I have two things of chicken broth to finish out our soup, a can of black beans, a can of chicken, and some homemade salsa. So I'll show you how we're gonna finish up the taco soup for dinner. Now I'm bringing some dishwasher tabs because we don't have any dishes up there except paper plates. So I'm bringing two Tupperwares for bowls, couple spoons. We have no soap in the house. So I'm bringing up some soap, some cleaner concentrate, and a cleaner spray bottle. And then we will need for dinner some sour cream. This is a bunch of carrots that I have that we can have for snacks and veggies. These are radishes from the garden that we can have for snacks and veggies. This is some leftover chicken from the girls trip I went on and I'm gonna throw that in the taco soup so it doesn't go to waste. Some cheese to top our taco soup. I did grab out a freezer meal. I think in the crock pot tomorrow we're gonna make this. I think this is Greek chicken, or this is my mom's smashed chicken recipe, I'm not sure, but I'll make up a side salad or something and we'll have this with rice. But I want this ready to go for tomorrow. For some more snacks, I have this box of crackers that was left over from the girls trip, some cheese, so we can have cheese and crackers if we need to. This is for tonight's dinner, just some chips. And then for more snacks, we have some apples and some grapes, and then I'm gonna bring up a thing of paper towels so we can use as napkins or for cleaning up things. We do not have a washer and dryer at the new house yet, so I don't really want to. I'm gonna just give myself the blessing of paper towels. Normally I would use rags or something to clean up, but we're gonna use paper towels. The water is up there, it's fantastic, it's well water, and so I don't need to bring that. We do have a couple beverages and things already in the fridge, and I think that's everything that we need to bring I was trying to think through tomorrow's dinner and I decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna pull the whole thing together so that tomorrow I don't even have to think about it. Today, I will think about food. Tomorrow I will prep it, but there will be no thought that we'll have to go into it. With this freezer meal, I'm gonna bring up this baking dish so I can bake it in the oven. I was thinking about putting it in the crock pot, but my crock pot is gonna be being used for this and I'm not gonna have leftover containers up there. So we'll just store our leftover taco soup in the crock pot so I couldn't use this to make the meat so I thought why don't I just grab this baking dish we'll cook this in the oven because we'll let this thaw today got out a thing of frozen corn I don't know if this is going to be good but I think corn like the sweetness is going to go well with all the herbs and the vinegar and the vinaigrette -y marinade that's on here so we'll just mix that together we'll cook it together in the oven I grabbed some rice and I'm gonna bring up my rice cooker. And this will last us a long time because I do have these breakfast freezer meals. So I won't have to worry about food for the next quite some time because Josh and I are perfectly content eating things for leftovers along with, you know, we'll be able to mix it up with the apples and all those things. So we are ready to go. Welcome to the new kitchen. We got the crock pot plugged in, but we need to add the rest of the ingredients since we are here. I did go ahead and bring some dish towels because I thought if I do some hand washing of the few bowls and spoons we have, we're gonna wanna be able to dry them out on something. So I did bring some of those, even though I did bring a package of dish towels. Let's see what we gotta add in here. In our basket, we have two cans of chicken broth, home cans, so we're gonna get those in our crock pot. Well, we'll start with one because that's already pretty full. I also have some home canned 
salsa. Because I'm here and I don't have access to all my spices, I thought it would be good to add a can of salsa because this has spices in it. It has peppers, it has onions, it has a lot of flavor to it. That was one thing I was thinking as I was driving up here. I was like, I can't adapt to this recipe. Those spices I put in it are what's in it. And I'm sure it's gonna taste just fine. We have one can of homegrown, home canned black beans. Probably one of the things I'm the most proud of this year. So we're gonna get those beans in there. So I'm gonna put the lid on that and we're gonna let this cook away until we're ready for dinner. I can add one more can of chicken broth if we need. And I do have some chicken, but this is already pre-cooked chicken. So I don't wanna put it in there now because it will get overcooked and completely shred. So I'm gonna set that aside. And we're gonna get loading our dishwasher for the first time. And now we get to put all the food away. I put the freezer meal for tomorrow already in the fridge. We're gonna get the cheese and sour cream and all the goodies. Starting to feel like home just a teeny bit once you start getting some of your own food and you're cooking dinner in your own kitchen. Feels a little bit like camping too because we're making do with what we have, but kind of feels like a fun adventure. I have to say it feels good to have dinner taken care of for tonight and to know what we're doing for tomorrow because these situations are when it can be really easy to run and get takeout. We did it last night, nothing wrong with it, but moving, doing what we're doing can be pricey and expensive. And so I wanna make sure that our grocery budget stays, you know, as conservative as possible so we can make sure those resources are going toward things like paint and trim. So if you missed last vlog, we started ripping out all the trim. We are re redoing the trim. That's why we went and picked out the trim this morning and redoing all the hardware. And let me show you where I ended off last night. This is the room where I ended off in and I just started taking off the trim. There is, let me take my shoes off because they're squeaky, caulking on some of the boards and some art. So I have to take a razor blade and cut that seal before I can take the trim off. So I'm gonna get going on that. I have about an hour and a half that I can work. And then Josh and I have an appointment we have to run to, and then we gotta go pick up our carpet samples. And we are gonna start talking about the kitchen, whether we are going to keep the kitchen the way it is, or we're going to update it. So let me set a timer, let me get some music on, and we'll see how far we can get in an hour and 15 minutes. Josh has already got this whole room done. What all those little scrapey bits off are off the floor? These are the colt that's left on the wall has to be scraped off. So he's already prepped this room and it is, it's done. He's completely finished this room. I got the bedroom done and then in this main living space, I went through and I tore off all the baseboards and then mostly around all the doors. So you can see how we got all of that taken care of. I have all this pile that I still need to bring out into the garage to bring to the dump. I need to get around these windows still, but these blinds are giving me a little bit of allergies, so I need to take the blinds off. And I started in here. I got around this big, big, big bay window and I got most of this done. But we need to go to our appointment now and then we need to go pick up the carpet samples. So I'll show you the carpet samples and talk about the kitchen. But when we get back, I'll continue. I still have to scrape all the caulk, remove the blinds. That'll be my next step. But I was just kind of scooting, scooting, scooting along the floor, getting all the baseboards. And that seemed to be more efficient than up and down, up and down, up and down, going around windows and base, windows and base and things like that. I'm gonna get Josh. We're gonna head to our appointment. 
We just got back from running our errands and we picked up our three carpet samples. I can show you which ones we got. We're going with this kind of tufted feel. This is gonna be for the bonus rooms and two bedrooms, but nowhere in the main living space will this carpet be. I think I like this one because it's showing up more brown, but there actually is, it's mostly gray with, a, it's like a warm brown. This one is pretty gray, almost kind of like blue, and I don't think we want that. I do like this one. It's kind of a gray beigey, but I think this might be a little too light. So I think we're leaning towards this. And I can show you, these are kind of the paint colors we're leaning toward. So this kind of is my favorite combination, or that. I think these grays are a little too blue. I like the gray family, but I don't want a really cool gray. Now it is getting close to dinner time and our crock pot is nowhere near being done. This is gonna be a late night tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead, if I can figure out this microwave. And let's see, there we go. And we're gonna heat up some of the leftover pizza from last night. We're just gonna have a slice so we can tide us over before our dinner's done. While Josh and I are eating, I think we've decided that this is the one we're gonna go with. That one looks a little too blue to us. And we do like this lighter one, but it almost looks like lighter carpet that got dingy. So I think she's the winner. I wanted to mention, I just got off the phone actually with the cabinet people for possibly redoing this kitchen. And it's gonna be two and a half months to three months at the earliest we could get that done, which just is not realistically possible right now. So kitchen is on hold, which when Josh and I were just out in the garage talking about it, we we're like, oh, that's almost a sense of relief because we can just focus on the projects we've already started. This kind of came up thinking, hey, look, pipe dream-ish. You know, like it's gonna be done eventually, but, oh my God. Oh, it's a kitty cat. I thought it was a raccoon. There's a cat, not our cat, some neighbor's cat on, hi, sweetheart. You see those eyes? Raccoons and things will definitely be a possibility of something that can happen around here. So when we get our chickens up here, we need to reinforce seriously. And that's another thing. We still have all those projects. So putting the kitchen on the back burner is honestly a sense of relief. We have enough stuff going on around here. So let's get going on more trim removal. Actually, what I want to do, let's go ahead and see if I can find a stool or a ladder around here. And we're going to take down those lines. Oh, I like that so much better already. Look at that. Ah! Oh my, what just happened? What just happened to the line? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, it looked like there wasn't anything there. I was very confused. Like your legs gave up or something. These are not called blinds. These are curtains. Right. I keep calling them blinds. I need it, but I'm just kind of excited. <laughs> Anytime soon. 
I already am loving the look of this and I feel like it opens it up. One of the main reasons we bought this property is because of this view and having those curtains gone, that really, really opens it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the curtains in here as well. It's gonna make removing the trim and everything a lot easier by not having them in there, kind of in the way as I was trying to remove all this trim. Oh geez, I need your help. I need your help. This is one big rod. I was expecting it to be two. Oh. Just perfect, thanks. There wasn't one. It wasn't tightened. That one's tightened. You can't be. Oh, yeah. Tight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Black. Because the shape of these is nice. We decided these curtain rods are really great quality and we could repurpose them because they're pretty minimal. They don't have much of a design. So I might try spray painting them matte black, the color of all the hardware we're doing and see how that goes. So when I get all of these clips off and Josh can come back, we're just gonna put these rods back up and we'll store them on the rods and then we'll donate the curtains to Goodwill so someone else can enjoy them. Josh just helped me put those poles back up. And I honestly think it looks a lot better in here. I'm considering not putting any more curtains up, but we'll see when it comes to that when we eventually design this room. This is so fun, the design, all of this stuff. We did not do any of this in our last house. We did paint it when we were getting ready to sell it and do those things. But because of life and how the last two and a half years have worked out, really getting in there and making our home our home was just not we just didn't have the resources the time to do that because of just life 2020 josh getting his bachelor's degree all the things and so coming here investing the time investing the energy in order to make this house feel like our home we love doing this stuff and we haven't been able to do it for the last year and a half now it is a lot of work i'm not gonna lie while I'm sitting here ripping out some of this trim, removing the caulking from the walls, doing the actual tediousness of the work. It does get a little mundane. Audiobooks help, podcasts, music, all those things help get through it. But going to the stores like we did this morning, choosing out colors, making decisions, and putting this effort into it, we love doing it. It's just the, the nitty gritty can get old, but it is all worth it in the end. So. That being said, I think I'm gonna clean up these blinds and I'm gonna start taking some of this trim to the truck so I can bring it to the dump on Wednesday. We cleaned up once, but then we started taking more trim off and this room is completely trim free. Josh is removing all the nails because there are nails that get left behind on the wall or in the trim piece from when I remove the trim. So what I'm doing now is cleaning off this caulk area here. This is a tedious thing, but it's pretty satisfying when it's done. Just like that. We're still just working away, but I wanted to check on the soup. I gave it a little taste test. It could use a couple more seasonings, but it is what it is and it's going to taste really good. We have a ton of cheese, so cheese will make everything better. It's still not done. Oops. 
Didn't mean to do that. I almost wish that I had put it on before we went on all of our errands in Portland, but I did not want to bring this in my car. So it'll taste good. We're working hard. And so anything will taste good for dinner because we'll be really hungry. This is the leftover chicken from this weekend. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. This chicken has a lot of flavor. My friend's husband made it and it's absolutely delicious. So this will add some good flavor as well. There is something really exciting about cooking our first meal in our new forever home. It feels like a dream come true. I think I have enough chicken here. I don't think I'm gonna add that other chicken that I brought. I think this will do because we have the beans. Normally I like a thicker taco soup and this is a little bit thin too, but it is what it is. It's gonna be delicious no matter what it is. I'm gonna be happy with the outcome. So let's give this a stir. I normally would probably have less broth and more beans in here too. I like a really bean heavy taco soup, but that's okay. It almost feels like we're camping just a little bit and it's kind of a fun adventure. We're having a lot of fun. Josh and I were just talking that we're just enjoying hanging out together and working on projects. We're gonna let this simmer. When this is done, I'll bring it back and I'll show you how we'll throw dinner together. In the laundry room, I wanted to show you kind of what we were doing this morning. So these are all the doors. We're gonna paint them the same color as the trim. Josh took them all off and he put what room these doors go to in here because those will be covered up. And you can see that the hardware, the hinges are gold and the handles are brushed silver. And throughout the house, there are a couple different other color hardware. So what Josh and I's goal is to have all the hardware match. It's all gonna be matte black. And that's what we purchased this morning at Wink, the hardware store. And we still need to buy the door knobs. We hadn't picked out the exact ones we want for that. We are gonna look on their website online and get those ordered. But we bought all the hinges for all the doors. Exterior, indoor, all of them. Josh, are you ready? Josh, you ready for some dinner? Yeah. So we're gonna go eat dinner. It's been a long day, but it's been a good day. One thing I forgot to bring is some sort of ladle. So we're just gonna do this one scoop at a time, which is fine. Josh, there's cheese in the fridge and a little bit of sour cream in the fridge if you wanna grab that for us. Okay. How hungry are you? Um. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, okay. Probably a three out of 10. Okay, is that good? Yeah. You might want it, um, can you grab a towel so you can wipe that off? How we're gonna serve this is with a dollop of sour cream. Josh already put his in there. Some shredded cheese, and we like to crush some chips on the top. Wait, you got a whole thing right here, you got. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I've got caulk and dust and all the things, and we're probably gonna go home and take a shower after this, but this was super productive. Thank you for hanging out with us as we made our first dinner in our new home and we got a lot done. It was a good day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch more, I will post some more right there. You can go enjoy between now and our next upload. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs> Jinx.